Hello engineers, here's a job recruitment update by one of the highest paying PSUs that is Ingenious India Limited. Ingenious India Limited has released the vacancies for the post of management trainee for GATE 2025 aspirants. Two job profiles are released. First one is management trainee construction. In this, the job designation is management trainee. Place of posting is project sites in India and abroad. Period of training is one year. Means if you are selected, you have to undergo a training of one year. And while you are undergoing a training, you will be paid a stipend of 60,000 plus accommodation and transport allowance. In case accommodation and transport allowance is not given to you, then additional 15,000 will be given to you. So 60,000 being your stipend plus 15,000 additional transport and accommodation allowance. After your absorption in Ingenious India Limited, for the post of management trainee construction, the CTC is approximately 20.31 lakhs per annum. The second job profile which is released is management trainee others. You can see this for management trainee others, the place of posting is EIL's headquarter at Delhi Gurgaon office branch or inspection office or regional office or project sites in India and abroad. Again, the period of training for this post is also one year and you will be given a stipend of 60,000 plus accommodation and transport allowance. In case this allowance is not provided to you, then 15,000 additional money will be given to you. Then on absorption for this post, management trainee others, your CTC will be 9.25 lakhs per annum. Here is the description of the various posts you can see. For management trainee others, for chemical branch, there are 12 posts. For mechanical branch, in management trainee construction, there are 5 posts. And management trainee others, there are 9 posts. For civil engineering students in management trainee construction, there are 6 posts. And management trainee others, there are 12 posts. For electrical engineering students, for management training construction, there is one post and management training others, there are seven posts. My dear, Ingenious India Limited is known for its strict criteria. So you can see the age limit for general category is 25 years. For OBC non-creamy layer, it is 28 years. For SCST category, it is 30 years. For PWD general category students, 35 years. For PWD OBC non-creamy layer, it is 38 years. And for PWD SCST category, category it is 40 years this is the age limit now you might be thinking for general category the upper age limit is only 25 years i would like to make few more fact check for this particular organization you can see this here are the different guidelines which are given to you based on your cgpa and marks you can see this for 100 percent marks if your marks is calculated in 100 percent for the degree the minimum criteria is 65 percent if your CGP is calculated on a scale of 10, the minimum criteria is 7. On a scale of 9, the minimum criteria is 6. On a scale of 8, the minimum criteria is 5.3. Means if your CGP is calculated on a scale of 8, you should be having 5.3 plus above CGPA. If your CGPA is calculated on the scale of 7, the minimum criteria is 4.6. For the CGP on the scale of 6, the minimum criteria is 4. For CGP on the scale of 5, the minimum criteria is 3.3. And for the CGP on the scale of 4, the minimum criteria is 2.5. So these are the minimum criteria that the candidate must possess in the qualifying degree. That is BE, BTEC degree in mechanical, chemical, civil or electrical engineering. Let's see ahead in this notification. <clears throat> A very important thing here. The candidates who are passed out in the year 23 or before are not eligible. Means the BTEC students who will be completing their BTEC in this year 25 or in the previous year that is 2024. Means last year graduated student and this year graduated students are only eligible to apply for this particular PSU. This is one of the fact that most of the students don't know. So please keep a check especially the fresher students who have recently graduated. For them, this Ingenious India Limited is one of the key PSU to apply on as they are paying you well. Now you can see this, other things are given to you. Here is a selection procedure. So first of all, the primary shortlisting of the candidates is done using only GATE 25 score. Even GATE 23, GATE 24 score will not be applicable in this particular PSU. Only GATE 25 score, using that GATE 25 score, the basic shortlisting of the candidates will be made. After shortlisting, the candidates will be called for group discussion and the final interview. 
राइट द फाइनल मेरिट विल बी प्रिपेयर ऑन योर गेट स्कोर प्लस ग्रुप डिस्कशन प्लस फाइनल इंटरव्यू राइट सो वॉट एवर मार्क्स यू विल गोइंग टू स्कोर इन ऑल द थ्री सेगमेंट्स बेस्ड ऑन दैट द फाइनल मेरिट विल बी प्रिपेयर एंड ऑल द कम्युनिकेशन चैनल्स विल बी थ्रू दिस ऑफिशियल मेल आई डी विच इज मैं यू कैन सी दिस it is there that all the queries pertaining to the recruitment including the selection process may be addressed to ingenious india recruitment team at rec double t at the rate eil.co.in right all the all the official information will be conveyed to you in the email now sir how to apply first of all you have to log in into eil recruitment portal it is the website is mentioned here then after that you need to apply for the post whether you are applying for management trainee construction or management trainee others one very important thing you can apply for only one post then next <coughs> you have to do the new registration like you have to fill the registration form application form but keep a check that following documents will be required a passport size colored photograph will be required along with the signature both of them will be required in jpg format next is you might be required if you belong to any category then category certificate is required if you belong to scst category or obc non creamy layer or ews category or pwd category then all those certificates will be required while you are applying for this form one very important thing again whenever you are applying for ingenious india limited please fill the form correctly because they might not provide you with the window to do the correction and once your application is submitted and if you are selected for the post and if there are few errors in your application then it will be a big trouble for you to correct those information right so apply for this post keeping being very alert so the general instruction is the application has already started from 20 of march and it will be closed on 7th of april right so you have a window from 20th of march to 7th of april in that you can apply for this post obviously all the further communication will be done through the email so these are the important information about the ingenious india limited which is one of the fantastic organization to work especially for the fresher students or the fresher btech graduates who want to explore the field of construction and engineering because definitely you will going to learn a lot if you work for ingenious india limited which is one of the highest paying psu if you have liked this information don't forget it to share with your friends and do subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching